You'll find that creating tables in Schoology is very similar to any word processing program like Google Docs. Um, so once you create a page, so for example, I've just opened a blank page entitled it Making a Table in Schoology. Um, at the top of um, the field here, you have all of your usual text um, editing tools. I'm going to focus here on this little grid. When you click on it, that's how you make a table. And here you can expand this out and create larger tables, um, as many um, cells as you'd like. So uh, for example, I'm just going to make a 3x3. Three three. So I'm going to drag to where it says 3x3 three three and click. So you'll notice that the um, cells are a little bit squished, and they will actually start expanding as you um, start typing. So I might just call this, I'm going to name them very general. Um, column A, column B, column C. Okay, and then this is going to be row one. Oops, type today. Row one, row two, and so on and so forth. So now that I have my, my table, I can start entering content in here. You can also copy and paste images. So if I wanted an image from, um, from Google, I could Google search it, open the little preview window, and then copy and paste that into, into a cell if I so wanted. Um, and I guess I can just do that right now as an example. So let's look up um, puppy, for example. Images. Um, I really like this one of this cute little golden retriever. I click on it to open their preview. Um, right click, and then I'm going to copy the image. Go back to Schoology, and now I can paste it into here. Copy and paste, and then I have my image. It's gigantic, but notice you have these dots appear. Click and drag those dots. You might have to do it a couple times, and you can resize um, the photo to fit. Um, how you'd like it to in the column. Um, okay, and then once you have all your rows and columns, let's say you know you decide you want another column. When you click on the table, notice that when I click off of it, some tools disappear. When I click on it, I will get some more um, table-specific tools. So um, I want to add, um, obviously, this insert a row before or on top, um, insert a row after. Um, you can delete a row, add a column left, add a column right or delete a column. You can also merge cells and split the cells as well. You can also delete the table. Um, you can turn the border, uh, this border button will turn the borders off if you don't want any lines in your tables, or you can turn the border back on. Um, so let's say I want to add a column. I'm going to click on this column. I want a column to appear on the right. So I'm going to click here, insert column after and it will add a new column. If I want to add another row, click on the row. I can add it in between or after. Let's say I want to add it in between, so above row two, below row one. I'm going to click on insert row, insert, insert row before. Click on it, it will add the row, and then I can relabel as necessary. Oops. Okay, and for whatever reason, let's say that I want this whole thing to be one cell, um, I could click on the top row and then highlight all four and then I can click on the merge cells to merge them together to make one um, to make one um, large cell of those four. So those are some different ways to modify tables um, and to organize information on a page in Schoology.